In this tutorial we'll be learning about armoring and other methods of defense. Let's start with hitboxes and armoring. It's a good idea to make a hitbox template plate so you can easily put it on mechs you make. An average mech has two legs, two arms, two side torsos, a center torso, and a rear torso. Position the plate in your mech then unparent the hitbox controllers from it. Remove the plate then parent the hitbox controllers to a gate on your mech. Now we use the health pooler tool and select the parts of the hitbox. Be sure to select any hard points and gates that are in that section of your mech. Once you are done selecting parts, right click on the section's corresponding hitbox controller. Do this for all sections of your mech. It is common to see sparks from the engine as it recalculates its hitbox. As you can see, all pieces of the hitbox have the same health. You get 50 points of armor per ton. The engine creates its own health pool automatically of internal structure. Internal structure is equal to the health of the engine plus 12.5 armor per ton of any pieces within the pool that the engine has. Now what if we wanted to defend ourselves against attacks from tracking weapons? We must use an ECM or electronic countermeasures module. Simply parent it onto your mech and it will not allow enemies to lock onto you without directly aiming the launcher at you or without knock beacons or tag lasers. If the enemy still is launching missiles at us, we have the option to use a lamps or laser anti-missile system. Just place one onto your mech, link it to the engine, and wire the fire key to what you wish to activate it. Here I'll set it to the health of the engine, so it is always active. Lambs will shoot down any nearby rockets that aren't owned by yourself at the cost of 5 points of heat. They can only shoot down one missile per second each, so large numbers of launchers will still get through. We have one more defensive module for use. The stealth module allows you to camouflage your mech. It is best paired with ECM, so you will be nearly invisible under radar and visual inspection. It generates one point of heat per second while in use and disables cooling. So beware your heat when using it. That's all for basics on mech based tutorials. Comment below on what you'd like to see more of next in the tutorial series. Tutorials on other vehicle types are planned.